remind everybody today uh, that if we say we are following Jesus, let's walk in the light. Let's don't walk after the things that we used to walk after. And there is power in His blood to redeem us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But we have to choose not to go back to uh, the things we used to do before we before we met Jesus. Because if you really meet Jesus, you don't have a desire to uh, to go back to the sinful ways. First uh, John. 1 6 starting in in verse 6 says if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not practice the truth but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, if we say that we have not sinned, we have make him, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Um, the first step in uh, getting past something is admitting that you have a problem. You know, like if the doctor told you you had cancer, you know, you say we can, you know, cut it out. It's going to hurt. You know. You're going to have some treatments of radiation. It, you know, you're going to have to maybe take some medicine. It's going to make you very sick. But in the end, you're going to be better. Or you could say, here's a Band-Aid. Here's a Band-Aid. It's not going to really do anything, but it's going to make you feel better. What you have to do is you have to get down there and you have to cut that stuff out. Because, you know, like a cup. If it's filled with something, if it if you get bumped, whatever's in that cup comes out. So, you know, you can you can hide and you can lie for a little while, but whatever you're doing is going to show up. It's going to show up. It's going to come out right here. So I know I live it. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to walk this thing out and and help somebody else come alongside me. Also, uh, just a little side note. If you're sitting up so high on your high horse that you can't reach the ones that are below trying to make it, <laughs> let's work on ourselves. Let's don't be self-righteous. Let's remember that we were, you know, once the ones. I know I was. I was once, you know, down in the pit. And I had people reach down and pull me out. Let's don't sit up so high that we can't reach the ones at the bottom. Confess your sins. He's faithful to forgive us. And we got to forgive others too. It's hard. But it's possible. You know, with, with man it's impossible. But with God all things are possible. I hope this helps someone today. Be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Not your might. Not your power. His power. Get in the Word. That's your sword. Sword of the Spirit right here. Be blessed in Jesus' name.